Well, hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Rose Riley, and I also live in the Big Swickley Creek watershed in Economy Borough. The borough is located on the north side of Big Swickley Creek in Beaver County, across the creek from Bell Acres, where Jolie lives, with an area of 17.8 square miles and a population of about 9,000. Next. So the next question is, how do water withdrawals impact habitat and biodiversity? Reoccurring random water withdrawals of varying magnitude and associated activities could have temporary, permanent, and or cumulative negative impacts on the unique habitat in the watershed and all the species it supports. One round of withdrawals, let alone years of reoccurring withdrawals, could severely damage the ecosystem Withdrawals harm fish and wildlife and, and, and macroinvertebrates. They increase water temperature. They reduce re riparian vegetation cover. They reduce the assimilative capacity of streams, thereby increasing pollution. And they promote invasion by non-native species. Next. Withdrawals reduce flow necessary for ecosystem function. So they reduce surface water, we all know that, but they also reduce water in the stream hyporic zone. That is in the stream beds, in the banks, the floodplains, in the groundwater. Withdrawals cause severe depletion in the hyporic zone in streams that have bedrock substrate like Big Swickley Creek. And small watersheds, again, just like Big Swickley Creek, are more vulnerable and sensitive to changes in flow. Next. Withdrawals also risk the survival of the southern red-bellied dace. The fishes of Pennsylvania attributes the decline of this species to, and I quote, lowered water tables, extinction of springs, channelization, ditching, tree removal along streams, and increased turbidity. All of the impacts that are associated with water withdrawals. Even an episodic two inch decrease of stream width will impact important undercut banks that are used by the adult days. Long-term water withdrawals will impact water, the water table and could lead to the extinction of springs that sustain this species by improving water quality and keeping the watershed cold. And lastly here, tree removal, grubbing, and other activities associated with the withdrawals will increase turbidity sedimentation and water temperatures, degrading water quality further. Next. Withdrawals also impact environmental flow requirements. Excessive episodic and unpredictable withdrawals anytime during the year, not just during dry seasons, could impact specific life stages of species that depend on seasonal flow requirements to survive. And the last question, should small watersheds be protected from withdrawals? The answer is yes, absolutely. Withdrawals degrade habitat and decrease biodiversity and small watersheds are less resilient than larger streams and rivers. Withdrawals will lead to the loss of species of conservation concern like the Southern red-bellied dace 